Welcome back to another reaction video, and today I'm once again in the world of Nightwish. Bit over dramatic, and in this video I'm actually going to be going off script a little bit, and by that I mean um, Gabriel gave me a list of things that I should be sort of checking out, and this song actually wasn't on it, or at least it wasn't at the top of it. I got a request from uh, B Beckett. Please consider doing Bless the Child. It's wrongly not very popular among reactors. So yeah, um, I figured, you know, as of actually, I don't know, I don't know why that particular one stood out to me, but I figured, yeah, all right, why not? Gives me uh, something else to go for. Now I know that this song was actually from Taja's era um, of the band, as I'm sure probably some of the other songs that I've reacted to are, and I was actually tempted to react to one of the other live versions uh, featuring her because I haven't actually checked out of it, uh, any of the uh, songs that, uh, well, you know, any era of the band that she was in at the time, but uh, I never know what's going to happen in terms of the video getting blocked. So I figured I would stick with what I know for now. Another one from the Wacken 2013 festival. I know that Gabriel has given me a list of tyre um, friendly video, shall we say, um, that I can use that uh, tend to not get blocked. So I will get to doing some tyre stuff at, uh, at some stage. I'm saying tyre, if it's Taja and I've got it wrong, I do apologise every time I try and pronounce something, I, I just get it wrong. So I do apologise, just stick with this grey haired old fool. But let's not muck around today. Let's get into this again. Back in 2013, let's don the headphones of Juge May. Let us enter the screen of full. And let's play. Juca. Thomas. Smiling. Okay, quite a lot of things I'm already getting so familiar with now with the band. Empu, I love I love Empu. He's 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 really is a cool cool guy, man. I love the way we got that shot of him there, just drinking a beer as he's just fretting the chords, just one-handed. You know, easy enough to do, sure, but you know he's just yeah, hey man, just just enjoying himself as he always does. Uh, Tomas, I noticed was a, I noticed there was a big grin on his face. Is, was this the opening song of the show? Kind of had that vibe, all of them sort of coming out there um, at the beginning. But yeah, Tomas uh, noticed as he was playing, he had a big smile on his face. A common thing. They seem to really enjoy themselves, have a good time. The mighty floor, Jansen, of course, just 
demolishing all with her vocals. Fantastic. I really like that riff. I'm not going to get the guitar out this time. A few people got funny with that last time. Yucca ham hammering everything down on the kit as usual. Haven't heard much from Marco yet. Obviously, bass-wise we have, but I'm, I'm, uh, so I'm interested to see whether he joins in with his vocals. I do like uh, I do like when he joins in as well. Let's just take this back a smidge. Nice metallic riff. Old school crunch. Quite ranged up. One thing I've been meaning to mention the last couple, I, I really dig uh, Marco's jeans. <laughs> just, just putting it out there, man. <laughs> it's so hard. Run that back in just a second so we can get the outro properly. <coughs> Bloody hell. Again, I just love the way Yuki just hate, hits the drums so hard. And not joining in vocally with uh, Floor this time, but I like that little moment between Floor and Marco there where he's just playing that nice little bass line uh, as she's singing over it. That's just great. Let's just take that back a bit and let's hear that again as we go into the outro. Really enjoying this one again.
Nope. Finished a bit abruptly there. <clears throat> Another damn solid song. I enjoyed that one a lot, and there's a lot to enjoy in that one. Some nice, real tasty riffs from Empu. Tomas, of course, with his orchestration putting everything together uh, and well another, another one I'm sure he had uh, the most to do with in terms of composition hard hitting drums floor what what more can you say about floor she's just fantastic I love watching her doing that windmill head banging as well she just really you know she can do it so well Marco just solid as ever now I love that little yeah that little moment he had there to shine as well with the bass just coming in there with this uh, that bass line just great let's have a quick look at the um lyrics for this one shall we because i was trying to there was uh there was a sample being played um at the end of it as well you could hear it sort of going on in the background i presume that was from the uh i presume that was from the um what's it called the uh oh, come on ben thinking brain do things he composes well Damn brain. I was born amidst the purple waterfalls. I was weak, yet not unblessed. Dead to the world, alive for the journey. One night I dreamt a white rose withering, a newborn drowning a lifetime loneliness. I dreamt all my future, relived my past. I witnessed the beauty of the beast. Why am I loved only when I'm gone? Gone back in time to bless the child. Think of me long enough to make a memory. Come bless the child one more time. Hmm. Okay, I had a quick look on um, I had a quick look on uh, what some other people interpret the lyrics to be, and there seems to be a bit of a debate. Some people seem to think it's about religion. One person said it's actually spelling out what's to come in the album. Someone was saying it's uh, <clears throat> a child who is dying but knows that it's loved. Another one saying about how all religion is hopeless. I ain't getting involved in that. Let me know your thoughts. What do you think this song means? I enjoyed that one a lot. That was great. That was really, really damn good. I've really got to check out some of the Chaya era stuff at some stage. I really do. I mean, this whacking 2013 show, man, that would have been a great gig to have been at. That was uh, everything I've heard from it so far. has been absolutely spot on. And uh, yeah, yeah, another fantastic Nightwish song. Really enjoyed that one a lot. Um, if I... Yeah, I think next time I'll just continue with um, with uh, Gabriel's list. And uh, yeah, we'll see where we go from there. But man, I'm enjoying it. I am uh, very much getting the feel for this band. I'm starting to understand the members of the band and how they interact with one another and the roles they play. I'm starting to pick up little, you know, there's little intricacies and things that I'm picking up on. I didn't make that sound very clever, did I? I've twattled on for more than enough for this video, so for now, I'll let you go. Take care.